Welcome! Have the buff to Jackal's secondary shotgun killed Buck? Or will Buck still be a good pick when you need that extra destruction? In today's video, I will talk around this issue and compare the two operators after the latest update. So, Buck has always been a super useful operator when you're attacking specific objectives with a lot of vertical gameplay where you just in a few seconds can open up a ceiling, the floor and the wall and then quickly change back your rifle to get some picks on the defenders. His shotgun is also powerful enough to open holes big enough to vault through on just one shot. Sledge have always been his rival since he also can open up holes that you quickly can use to go through walls and also open the ceiling above the defenders. But he can't open the ceiling on top of him, only the floor below him. Also, he's not as quick as Buck to switch from his sledge to his rifle and start shooting. But now we have a new rival to Buck. The pump action shotgun that both Jackal and Mira uses have been buffed and do more destruction now. This will help you open up walls, floors and ceiling much quicker with them. So if we start to compare Jackal versus Buck. We start with ammunition. They both have 5 shots before they need to reload. Buck have 16 extra to load but Jackal have 31. This round goes to Jackal. Destruction. Buck's shotgun delivers more destruction and the hole in the walls and the floors are much bigger. For example, you can vault through the wall after just one shot. Jackal, he can open up the floors and the ceilings and the walls, but not as quick and as much as Buck. So this is a clear point to Buck. When it comes to speed, Jackal's shotgun have the slowest reload time in this game. To be honest, it always feels like it takes forever. But when I clocked him, it took him 2.22 seconds to shoot the 5 rounds and another 6-16 seconds to reload it before it can shoot again. For Buck, this only took 1.14 seconds to empty his 5 shots and then another 3.03 seconds to reload it and start shooting again. Also, the time when you go from shotgun to rifle to start shoot is very important since if you for example open up the ceiling and you see a defender down there, you need to switch quickly to rifle to get a quick pick on them. Here you can see the comparison between them and as you can see it took Jackal 1.26 seconds to shoot the hole, switch to his rifle and start shooting. For Buck, this only took 0.27 seconds, so this round also clearly goes to Buck. Special ability? Well, since Buck's special gadget is his underbarrel shotgun and Jackal has a shotgun as secondary, this is a pretty one-sided round. Also, we must remember that Jackal's special ability have been buffed. From earlier, he only got 4 pings and 10 seconds between them. Now, he gets 5 pings and only 5 seconds in between them. So it's very hard for the roamer to get away when you can ping them that often. Especially on bigger maps, his ability is very useful. And this round goes clearly to Jackal. Gadget. Buck, he can choose between frag grenades and stun grenades. So that's a pretty easy choice. The frag grenades, they go very well with this shotgun because you can open up the hole in the floor or ceiling and then you throw the frag grenade in towards the defenders and get some easy kills through that hole. Jackal, he can carry smoke grenade or breaching charges and since he have a shotgun as secondary that can for example open up hatches in one shot, the breaching charges are just a waste. Go for the smoke grenades that also have been buffed now so they are much stronger now and can really help out the attack. And even if the smoke grenades are much more powerful now, I would still pick the frag grenades over them any day of the week. So this round goes to Buck. What about the primary rifles then? Buck, he has his C8 rifle. This is a medium to long range assault rifle with 837 rounds per minute and a damage that tops at 40 and carry a 31 round magazine. Jackal? He brings the C7E that is also an assault rifle and just as Buck it carries 31 rounds in the magazine. The rate of fire is 800 RPM and the damage tops out at 46. The recoil in Jackal's rifle is also much easier to control than on Buck's C8. If you ask me, this round goes to Jackal. So have buffs to Jackal's shotgun, special ability and smoke grenade killed off Buck as an operator? Well, the scoreboard says 3-3, but that's not the whole story. 
I still think Buck is a very useful operator, but as this game grows with more and more operators, Buck, as many others, get a more specialized role when and how he is extra useful. Buck is super useful in a way that Jackal can't be when it comes to quickly tear up the floor below the defenders or open up big holes in the walls. Also, his ability to quickly switch back to his rifle and get the picks is very useful. But Jackal is a very good middle ground since he can use his more powerful rifle, his new buff special ability to track down the roamers and still have a good enough shotgun to get some vertical play by opening up the floor, the ceiling and the walls. For example, on a map like Border, I would go with Buck since this is a map with a lot of ceiling and floors that you can open up to get that vertical gameplay. But on other maps such as Bank and Theme Park, sure, they still have that vertical gameplay, but they are very big. On these maps, Jackal is very useful to track down and eliminate so you don't have any roamers coming to flank you. And also, if your team already has Sledge, Jackal is even better because Sledge brings what Jackal is missing from Buck. He can use his Sledge to quickly go through walls and he has the frag grenades. These buffs to Jackal is definitely not the end of Buck. But I think this will bring down his pick rate and we will see more of Jackal. But the massive speed of Buck's shotgun and how quickly he can switch back to his rifle and start shooting is a very strong point that we can't look past. What's your opinion around Jackal versus Buck? Do you think Jackal can replace Buck on some maps? Will you start using Jackal more? Or is Buck still the king of the hill here? Let me know down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like since it really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos just like this one. I will see you next time.